Ah, there, that's better. Hello, and as always, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center. Today, we are going to work through three examples of basic single vision decentration calculations and the blocking procedures. We will work through the numbers, demonstrate it on the whiteboard, and then I'll show you what it would actually look like in a simple manual blocker. These are extremely common powers, common PDs, and frame sizes. These are jobs you might well run 5, 10, heck, even 15 times a day as a working optician. Fear not, that is what this video series is all about. For this example, we will have a right of a minus one sphere, a left of a minus two sphere, a customer PD of 58, in a frame with the measurements of 54, 19. Let's get going. All right, for those of you who saw part one, and that better be you, you may have noticed that I had to change super frame. I had to make super frame a little smaller. I think it turned out quite well. I think we'll call this version two. I think there is a version three in the works. I did keep the rhinestones in case you were worried. The reason I had to shrink super frame down a little bit is because even when I use gigantic super lens, when I decentered it, you may have noticed when I moved it over that I ended up with a gap over here. That would mean that I literally didn't have enough lens there to cut out and make a pair of glasses. Uh, you know, that's a really bad thing. We'll get to that in another video. How do I come up with my frame PD of 73? Again, I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail here. There's an excellent video on the boxing system. And of course, there's tons of that stuff on the website. But the short answer is, if I add my frame A and my DBL, A and my DBL, that matches the geometric center of the eye wire openings because there's nothing to measure here. Measuring across is a little bit more accurate way of doing it. This particular frame has a boxing frame measurement of 54, 19. 54 added to 19, nine, three, carry the one is 73. With powers like these, if you simply used the boxing system numbers on the frame, nobody is going to die. Okay, everything will be just fine. But we have our 73. Our human, the person that's actually going to put on and wear this pair of glasses, the distance between the centers of their pupils is 58 millimeters. Their eyes are closer in than the centers of the frame. If I have got a frame PD is 73, and I take away my 58, why am I using a calculator? Because my brain doesn't work very well. And you know what, uh, the lens that I put in here, hey, it could be, uh, you know, $75 or more, and I don't wanna make a mistake. So that gives me 15, and I have two eyes, so I go 15 divided by two, so I get seven and a half millimeters in decentration for each of my eyes. When I finish this pair of glasses, I need the center dot from my lens meter, the OC mark on my lens, to move from the center of that frame over, decentered in, and placed directly in front of my pupil, which is seven and a half millimeters closer in towards the nose. That's where those numbers come from. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna move it over seven and a half millimeters for a total decentration of 15. Here is what it would look like in the blocker. Well, here is my manual blocker. I'm gonna start as always with my right lens and my decentration amount is seven and a half. That's zero. 
that's five, that's six, seven, and a half. I'm gonna take my right lens, that would be zero, and I'm gonna move that center dot over to line up with that seven and a half mark. I'm gonna load a block in the blocker. I'm gonna steady the lens, bring that around, stick it to the front of the lens, and I'm good to go. If I turn this lens over and I look, that would be the center of my frame, and my OC has been pushed over towards the nasal as if I were wearing this lens in a pair of glasses for the right. One down, one to go. Five, six, seven and a half. Might as well load a block. Take my left for indecentration. Right moves right, left moves left. That looks great. Stick my block on. If I turn this over, there's the center of my eye wire opening. There's my OC, left eye, decentered in towards my nose as if I was wearing this. Ready for example number two. We'll have a plus one in the right, a plus 150 in the left, Customer PD of 62, frame measurements of 60, 19. What is my frame PD? My A, my DBL, my A is 60, my DBL is 19. It means it's a pretty big frame. The A opening is quite large. The distance between my two lenses is pretty big. I have a frame PD of 79 millimeters. It's a big man's frame or one of those horrible sunglasses that are out now. It's boxing system measurement would be 60, box 19. With powers like this, a plus one and a plus 150, if you chose to use your boxing system instead of taking out and doing it like you're supposed to, no one would die. If I have my frame PD of 79 and my human PD of 62, 79 minus 62, I have a difference of 17, 17 divided by 2 is 8 and a half millimeters in decentration per eye. When I do the finishing work, I am going to take my lens and I need to move my center OC dot. My two outer ones are only used when I have a lens with a cylinder amount. I can take my center dot and I need to move it from center of my eye wire opening, eight and a half millimeters in, eight and a half millimeters in. When I show you this in the blocker in a second, my OC is gonna be over here and my block is gonna be placed here. One of the reasons that this second part of this series is baby steps, is we're only working in the horizontal. We don't have enough power to worry about doing an OC height or moving this way. So that's why we're doing baby steps. Let's see what that would look like in the blocker. For example two, I have eight and a half millimeters of decentration. That would be zero. That would be five, six, seven, eight, and a half. Load up a block. Grab my right lens. Decenter that OC eight and a half over. The two outer dots, I can use them. It's a good reference point. It's a spherical prescription, so they aren't necessary, but it's always good to keep things in line. Holding that, stick that block on. Sure enough, there would be the opening of my frame. There's my OC shifted nasally in my right. Let's do the same for the left. That's five, six, seven, eight and a half. Beautiful. Let's stick a block in there. Take my left. That would be on center zero. I'm moving it over. 
my eight and a half. Beautiful. Stick my lock on. Sure enough, there would be the center of my eye wire opening. There's my OC shifted nasally in my left. For example three, we have a right of minus 175, a left of minus 0.75, PD of 64, and a frame measuring 52.17. It was just this morning that I put up part one on the YouTube channel, and I get feedback from people quite a bit, thank you, and it was overwhelming that people said that when they understood this and looked at it and took the lens and moved it over and that for most people, it actually didn't have that much to do with finishing or finishing layout. It had to do with edge thickness and the, the relationship between PD and frame size. Uh, all I can say is, you know, nothing could be better. That's in some ways more important. Uh, so super. Uh, so hopefully you can start to see that relationship as my PD gets wider because PDs are almost always more narrow than the frame PD is the less you need to decenter the lens. The less problems you're gonna have, the less chance you won't have cut out, the less thickness you're going to have, all kinds of issues. So hopefully you see that relationship. I have a frame PD of 69 millimeters because I have an A of 52 and a DBL of 17. Seven plus two is nine, five and one is six. My boxing system somewhere on that frame would be marked like that and I'd have Minus 175 and 75, not enough power there to worry about. You could just use your boxing system. As powers increase, as things become more complex, yes, you would want to use a PD stick and verify or confirm that those are accurate measurements. I have a human PD, 64, pupil to pupil. Frame PD out here, human here. If I have a frame PD of 69 and I take away 64, I have a difference of 5. 5 divided by 2, I end up with 2.5 millimeters of indecentration per eye. And because the frame is a little bit smaller than the last one, and my PD is a little bit wider. I only need to move that lens a little tiny bit, just two and a half millimeters, just two and a half millimeters to get that OC to line up with that wearer's pupil. Do that and you're gonna have a great pair of glasses. Let's see what that would look like in the blocker. For example, three, I have just a little tiny two and a half millimeters of movement. That would be my zero. That would be one, that would be two, that would be two and a half. Again, right moves right for indecentration, left moves left. May as well go ahead and load that block. Nice. That would be on center or zero. I'm moving that OC over two and a half millimeters. Sticking my block on, checking it. Let me see if I can do this a different way. Again, this is kind of more of a, a check your work kind of thing. But if you take a look at this lens, right lens, looking through it as if you were wearing it in a pair of glasses, like so, the center of the block, that little tiny dot there, that would be the center of the eye wire opening. And if I look, I can see that my OC, my black dot or X right there, has been displaced two and a half millimeters to the left or in decentration. So that's just kind of like I say, just kind of a check your work step. Notch, notch, notch. Zero, one, two, and a half. Left lens, one, two, and a half. Beautiful. Double check, left lens, center of my block would be the center of my eye wire opening. The little X would be to the right of that. That would be left moved in as it was worn. That's what it would look like in the blocker.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy it, please hit the dislike button. And please leave me a comment. I am getting so lonely out here. Please just take a second, just leave me a comment.